guys, what's up? It's Chelsea again, webcasting from my living room. Anyway, that's my brother Kevin behind me. What's up, Chelsea? Hey, I've been looking for this. Kevin, that's mine! I was gonna upload some new songs later. Well, too bad. I'm going to Sam's house. Ciao. And that was my brother Kevin. The truth is, Kevin doesn't care about anyone but himself. He takes whatever he wants without asking. And he doesn't respect anyone's privacy. Especially mine. He just barges in all the time without knocking. I wish you would try to be nice. And just a little considerate. And show me a teensy bit of respect. Because respect is something everybody wants, right? Oh my gosh, speaking of respect. There's this girl in my class, Kelly. She got put in my group for a project we're doing in social studies. Listen to this. Mr. Corbin, my teacher, gave our group an assignment about the Great Pyramids in ancient Egypt. Cool topic. The neat thing is that we can do just about anything we wanted to do. So I thought it would be a good idea to begin by sharing ideas. Makes sense, right? Okay, so does anyone have any ideas? What if we built three dioramas that showed the pyramids in different stages of construction? Ew, dioramas are so second grade. That's a dumb idea. Kelly! What? Well, maybe we could have a web page. It could have a slideshow of pictures. Derek, no one wants to look at a stupid web page. That's so lame. No, it's not. Lame. You know, you are so... Fine! What do you want to do, Kelly? Well, we can make a bulletin board. It can have a timeline with a bunch of pictures. It can be awesome. Robbie, Derek, what do you think? I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Great, we'll make a bulletin board. I couldn't believe it. She didn't care about our ideas or our feelings. She called our ideas dumb and lame. She wasn't even listening to us. Total disrespect, right? But wait, it got even worse. Okay, guys. I printed out a bunch of pictures that I found on the internet last night. Nice. Good job, Robbie. I even wrote some paragraphs we could maybe use for the timeline. Wait a minute. These pictures are too small. And I found better ones anyways. But those are fine. I don't think so. Fine. Do whatever you want. Chelsea, I wrote some stuff for the timeline, too. I don't like the font you use. It's too hard to read. Those pictures are crooked. That's the way I wanted to do them. No, not a good idea. It looks sloppy. You need to redo them. And Robbie, those pictures aren't even in the right order. Gosh, you guys are so, like, clueless. I'm going to the library, make those changes, and I'll be back. Are you guys getting sick of Kelly's attitude? I'm sick of her calling us stupid. She basically takes over the whole project, and then she doesn't respect what we say. I think we should say something to her. I think Chelsea should say something to her. Good idea. No, no, no. We're all going to say something to her. Kelly? You guys done with the changes? Do you want me to check it? No. Then what? Listen. This is supposed to be a group project, and we're supposed to work together on it, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but you've been being really bossy and making fun of all of our ideas. I don't think so. Well, you called us dumb? Lame, stupid, and clueless. Yeah, nothing is good enough. Well, I'm just trying to help out. I want to get a good grade. But you keep putting down our ideas. Well, it's my opinion. I can say how I feel. Yeah, but how would you feel if we called you dumb or lame? You wouldn't like it, right? Yeah, I guess not. Well, it'd be nice if you didn't put us down. We don't like it either. Just show us a little respect, OK? Here's a good way to tell if you're being respectful. When you're talking to someone, ask yourself, is this how I would like someone to talk to me? If the answer is yes, you're headed in the right direction. If the answer is no, stop and think. How would I like to be treated? So, things worked out in the end. Oh, BRB! Sorry, it was the mail. Mom, Kevin, resident. Ooh la la, this one's for me.
It's an invitation to my friend's sleepover party. Speaking of parties, I have to tell you about this birthday party my cousin Mandy went to last weekend. She said things got so weird. It was at her friend's house, and there was this boy there who everyone kept making fun of. I guess it all started when they started passing out the birthday cake. Here you go, Dave. No thanks. Don't you like cake? I'm fine. Well, I have some fruit salad in the kitchen. Would you like some? Sure. Why aren't you having cake? Because I can't have food with gluten in it. What does that mean? It means I'm allergic to things like bread, pasta, cereal, and cake. Oh, I never heard of that before. It's called celiac disease. You have disease? Get away! Ew, get away from me! Don't touch me! Hey, stop it! Damn disease! Damn disease! Hey, cut it out! You're being stupid. Hey, what's going on? Dave has a disease. What? I just can't have food with gluten in it. Dave's disease, no cake, please. Hey, Mike, knock it off. No one makes fun of you because you have warts on your hand. Yes, yeah, so? Well, warts come from a virus. What if he made fun of you? You wouldn't like it. Dave, I'm sorry. Mike's sorry, too. Right, Mike? Yeah, I was just having fun. Well, it's not fun for Dave. It's OK. You know, the point is that nobody's perfect. And we're all different. It's important to make sure you respect and accept the things that make people different. Whether you're allergic to cake, or peanuts, or you have warts, or whatever. When you accept people's differences, you're respecting people's differences. Mandy? Yeah. Movies? I have to ask my mom. Why? Because that's the rule. Yes, I have to ask permission. Okay. I'll call you back. Bye. Why do people have a hard time following rules? I don't get it. If you follow rules, you don't get in trouble. I know. Sometimes rules are a pain. Sometimes, don't run, wait your turn, please keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. But seriously, rules are a part of life, and they're kind of made for a reason, you know? Like one time, we were at an amusement park. Hey, you guys want to go in the haunted house? Yeah. I don't want to wait in line, and I'm thirsty. Come on, it'll be totally worth it. We can get something to drink afterwards. And some cheese fries, too. Yeah, let's go. Uh, those cheese fries were awesome. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, we saw these kids trying to sneak onto the roller coaster. Hey, look at those kids over there. But the end of the line's that way. I know, but I don't feel like waiting in line. This is a shortcut. We can get right to the front. But the sign says do not enter. Come on, nobody will see us. Are you okay? I can't lose my ankle. Hey, what's going on here, guys? They were totally busted. I saw the whole thing happen. They didn't follow or respect the rules. They got in trouble. And they never got on the ride anyway. I don't get it. So, rules are made to keep us safe and out of trouble. You don't have to like the rules, but you have to respect them. I just got an IM from my friend Josh. He wants to video chat. Hey, Josh. Hey, Chelsea. I was just watching you. Cool. Want to be my co-host? Sure. Great. Hold on. Let me get you on the screen. So, uh, what did you do today? It was a pretty rough day. What happened? Well, actually, it started a couple days ago. A couple of my friends at school wanted me to let them copy my homework. Come on, Josh. We don't want to get in trouble. Dude, come on. It's only homework. Hurry up before Miss Riley sees us. Well, I know I shouldn't have, but I let them copy it. They copied down my math homework. All the time, my brain is telling me, this is stupid. You shouldn't be doing this. Don't do this. But I didn't listen to myself. 
I'm not proud of myself. Well, cheating, it's pretty bad. You have to listen to yourself and do what's right for you. That's self-respect. Yeah, self-respect. I didn't feel much of that yesterday. What about today? Well, I feel I got a little self-respect back today. What happened? The same two kids wanted me to let them copy from my science test. Come on, you gotta help us. You're a friend, right? Then you gotta do it. I can't. I told them I was sorry, and I just walked away. Then I went to Miss Riley and told her about letting Justin and Bill copy my homework. That took gut. Yeah, but it was the right thing to do. And now I feel a little bit better about myself. Got a little self-respect back. Exactly. Hey, I gotta go. Okay, later. Having self-respect makes you feel good about yourself. You have to do what's right for you. That's self-respect. Well, I have some homework to do, so I'm gonna end my webcast now. But we covered a lot of stuff. You should always respect people's things and their privacy. It's important to respect other people's feelings, whether it's your friends, family, teachers, or classmates. Respecting other people's differences is important. When you accept people's differences, you're respecting people's differences. Respect for the rules means you follow the rules that are made to keep you safe. It kind of starts with you. It's called self-respect. When you have self-respect, you feel good about yourself. Kelsey, did you finish your homework yet? Gotta go. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.